this video. Let us continue to learn with the chemical properties of the aromatic hydrocarbons from the lesson of hydrocarbons. So now, the second chemical property that we are going to discuss is the process of halogenation. Halogenation is a general name. We have different types of halogenation here as chlorination, bromination, iodination. Anything can be carried out. In general, we call the process as halogenation. Now, let us take up the process of chlorination. That means the addition of chlorine to the benzene ring as we are going to start with benzene as our raw material. So, chlorination is an example of halogenation. So, now benzene is treated with chlorine in presence of halogen carriers like FeCl3 instead of this we can also make use of anhydrous aluminium chloride anhydrous aluminium chloride or tin chloride or FeCl3 any of this all of this will act as Lewis acids so any of the Lewis acid will act as our halogen carrier. The job of this component that we are taking here which is used as a catalyst will be acting as a halogen carrier. Now what happens now? One chlorine takes an attachment to the benzene ring and from the benzene ring the hydrogen will be displaced by the chlorine and the coming out hydrogen will react with one more chlorine forming the HCl. So, therefore, let us see what will be the final product form. Benzene upon chlorination will result in the formation of chlorobenzene along with HCl. So, we will end up in the formation of the product called chlorobenzene along with HCl. So this is how chlorobenzene is obtained by the chlorination of benzene. Similarly, in case we carry out bromination for the benzene ring, at that time instead of taking FeCl3, we should be considering FeBr3. So therefore, Br2 will be replaced here instead of Cl2. Then Br will be getting attached to benzene ring. Therefore, the name of the compound will be bromobenzene and the associated product will be HBr. In a similar way, we can also carry out the process of iodination. So, instead of chlorine, we should take I2 and here we should be taking a halogen carrier with iodine. Then, iodine will be taking an attachment to the benzene ring. That means, we will end up in the formation of iodobenzene along with HI. So, for halogenation, any of these three can be carried out. Chlorination, bromination, iodination. Often is that we carry out the phenomenon of chlorination since we have a lot of use out of this product of chlorine, namely chlorobenzene. 